Hello again. So this is making a Twitter bot with cheap bots done quick part two. I got my account unsuspended, so I'm ready to try out actually doing something with cheap bots done quick. So great. Um, all I had to do, it turns out, was I had to go through a CAPTCHA thing to, and verify that I'm not a robot, which is of course ironic because I am kind of trying to be a robot here, but um, then I also had to verify my phone number, um, which you can do with a text message with Twitter. Uh, if you don't already have your number attached to another account, um, I often forget that I have which account I have my number attached to, so I had to switch that. But uh, that seems to be clear now. I'm going to go ahead and just do a generic tweet. Uh, so um, I'm just going to just kind of keep keep building this account a little bit, so um, to make it seem more realistic. And um, I don't want to do birthday. Where do I live? I live in Pumpkin Land. Um, that's it. Okay, so uh, let's see if I can go ahead and tweet. It's October. Time for the PSL to flow. So again, this is really this isn't me being a bot yet. This is me just using this account like I might normally use a Twitter account to uh, just give it some content. So now that I have this, I can go to uh, Cheap Bots Done Quick. I'm still logged in as DJ3000, so I need to log out, and I'm going to log back in to Cheap Bots Done Quick. Um, I have to authorize Cheap Bots Done Quick to post on my behalf, which I just did, and now I'm in here. And what you're in here to CheapBotsDoneQuick.com when you signed into your account, there are some helpful links here. First of all, there's uh, a link to the guy who made this tool, so if you have, a, have a, a real bug with the tool, you can get in touch with him, George. Uh, that's their name, George uh, Buckingham, right, I think? Um, anyway, V21, right? And so, uh, the but the other thing that's great here is you can look down into the list of um, examples and tutorials and learn a lot about how people have, have used this. Um, I showed you some of my examples. There are several, you know, in here and, and some good tutorials uh, in here as well. I'll just kind of let you just explore those on your own if you'd like to. Um, so I am. Oh yeah, so you can kind of see my Gmail back there. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Uh, so that's better. Um, so this is this is cheap Boston quick. This is the source code. I'm going to be creating my code right here, and I'm going to just do it pretty quickly. Uh, so everything kind of comes down to this this uh, place sort of called origin. To me, for some reason, it just makes sense to actually do that last. It just seems more intuitive, and I'm not sure if that's just me or if you know if it really makes any difference. It doesn't make a difference to how it runs, but to me, it just Seems a little bit differently, so you know it, it is actually working here, and that, I can confirm that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tweet one, uh, just to say, uh, um, or maybe a generated badger. I'm going to go ahead and tweet that with Cheapbots done quick, and then over here verify that it came through, uh, which it did. Um, I don't actually need that one, so I'm going to delete it. Uh, but okay, so now I've just checked, checked, uh, checked my workflow. I do have uh, a back and forth here. So I'm going to kind of start in origin and make my uh, my basic template. So I'm going to say something like, um, uh, wouldn't it be nice? To, can I spell today? Wouldn't it? Is that right? <laughs> be nice to have a nice, refreshing pumpkin spice latte. Now this is this is not the actual generated tweet, but I'm, this is my template. Um, so I'm going to start kind of tweaking parts of this. So instead of um, so I could you know at this point it's really just going to say that same thing over and over again. So I'm going to start making these different things um, switch out. So I'm going to make a new list called I'll just call it like the intro, and then I'm going to say instead of the wouldn't it be nice. Yeah, I'm going to make some different variables there. So to make a list, I do that with square brackets, as you can see right here. And I need to put different options in these square brackets separated by commas. So wouldn't it be nice? To have. Or how about. So I'm going to be putting them in this place right here. We'll call it intro. So the, they're going to have the word A next anyway, so I don't need to worry too much about how these are constructed. I just need to kind of 
um, have different indirect phrase. How, wouldn't it be nice to have, how about um, I could really go for um, why do people I just thought of something. I'm going to have some of these are going to end up being question marks, and I don't want to have to deal, I don't want to have to keep track of punctuation. So, sure would be, I want to make these all statements so I don't have to deal with questions. So, sure would be nice to have, um, uh, I can really go for why do some people get irrationally angry about? Okay, so that's probably all right for now. And then let's see how this looks. So I could really go for a nice refreshing fungus spice latte. I could, how about a nice refreshing fungus spice latte? Um, I could really go for a nice, yeah, I need to change the uh, punctuation mark at the end. Maybe I'll just make it random just to kind of make it not, you know, these don't really have to make sense. Right. Um, so I'm going to make a new list called punctuation and I'll give it different options. So a question mark period, exclamation point, ellipses. So those are the, the primary punctuation marks I think that you'll see. Um, so let's see how that looks. Oh no, I have to put it in first. Uh, I forgot to put in my new list called punctuation. So now it's in and now I can see different sentences ending with different punctuation as I expected. So doing okay so far, great. Um, now we need to actually uh, make this some, uh, give it some, you know, I think I'm going to keep, I could change out nice and refreshing. I could come up with some different adjectives that might be a little bit sillier. Um, but that's something I'll consider. But I think the, the work here is really going to be on, uh, the most interesting work is going to be on latte. So I'm going to change out the word latte for various other things and make lots of pumpkin spice things and see what that, what that looks like. So I don't need those two lists anymore. I'm not using them at all. So those uh, alternatives are completely different. That's the placeholders from the example. So I don't need those anymore. So uh, I'm going to make a new list. I'll call it latte just because that's the place that it's going to be replacing. Um, but I want to come up with some other uh, food items. Now I could just go off the top of my head and just kind of kind of try to come up with some stuff. Um, that can be kind of hard. So I recommend using a list of lists called corpora, which I've been using in other tutorials. Um, it's got a lot of things in it. Uh, so it's got a list of all the foods, for example. So I could just come up with a list of uh, pumpkin spice, you know, apple, goji berry, jackfruit. That might be, you know what actually I could do is, yeah, I could do, I could do it two ways, right? So I could do, I could do pumpkin spice something else, or I could do something else spice latte. And that would be two interesting different templates. So that, that's cool. So I'm going to try that. Um, so in terms of the pumpkin spice whatever, instead of going with actual food, I think I'm just going to go with this list of generic household objects because that seems um, appropriate somehow. So this is already formatted in JSON. So if I grab this the right way, then I should just be able to copy and paste it into uh, Cheap Bots Done Quick. I'm going to shift click to grab all those things and go back to Cheap Bots Done Quick. And then I'm going to drop them in right here. It's kind of hard to read because it's such a long list, but now we've got a sure would be nice to have a nice refreshing pumpkin spice camera or a pumpkin spice thermometer or some pumpkin spice pair, of, a nice refreshing pumpkin spice pair of rubber gloves, uh, pumpkin spice blow dryer. Okay, pretty good. So I think we've already got a pretty decent bot right now. You know, it says, you know, quick joke bot. This is cheap bots done quick. So it's, you know, it's a cheap bot it's done quick. Um, but let's see if we can do some other things in terms of, instead of just changing out pumpkin, in terms of just changing out latte, let's change out pumpkin as well. So I'm going to make a new list here called pumpkin. And same as I did for the objects, I'm going to get a list of things so I don't have to go into, uh, you know, I don't have to come up with these off the top of my head. And I got them from corpora. I can go to corpora. I think I'll get a list of vegetables. Because, if, I mean, pumpkins are a vegetable, right? Like that's the whole irony of this whole thing is like we use them as a, in a sweet beverage. Uh, but they are actually uh, vegetables as a squash, right? I mean, squash is great, but like kind of weird. So um, 
let's get these here. So acorn squash would be good actually. So, but um, let's grab all of these vegetables. I just copied those onto my clipboard and now I can drop them in here to be replaced by pumpkin. And uh, so if you notice, uh, if I refresh this, nothing happens yet because I haven't actually put that symbol in place. So um, I, could do it, I could do it like this. Um, I could say, you know, I could put pumpkin right there. If I turn that word into the symbol pumpkin, then I I'll get these like uh, okra spice tennis racket, watercress spice laser pointer. Um, I mean, those are kind of funny, but they, they kind of miss the joke. So if you just saw this tweet out of the context of this bot, you would, might not get that this is a joke about pumpkin spice latte. Um, so, uh, you know, I think it makes sense to me anyway to have two different options for this tweet to be constructed. So it's basically the same. I'm gonna just copy this same formula, except in this new one. Notice that this is separated by a comma right there. Commas are important. I'm gonna do the intro and then I'm gonna do pumpkin as a symbol, but I'm gonna keep latte uh, as the word latte. And you know what, I'm gonna make latte capitalized because that's makes it seem more like a brand name. Okay, so how about a nice refreshing acorn squash spice latte or a nice um, uh, <laughs> nice refreshing pumpkin spice, that's ironic, um, charred spice latte, uh, amaranth spice latte. Uh, why do you keep choosing pumpkin? Pea spice latte. Uh, oh, because it's doing, okay, so I was getting mad because it was choosing pumpkin, but it was choosing pumpkin because it was switching back into this constructor. So anyway, you see, the, you see how it's doing both of these. I'm gonna go ahead and make these all capitalized to make it um, you know, easier to see as a kind of pseudo proper noun. And uh, there's actually a neat little thing that's built into tracery. So you see how this is the symbol latte uh, that's being populated by this long list of things. There's a thing you can do within tracery to, to make it automatically capitalize those. You put the period after the symbol name latte. You see where my cursor is right here. I'm gonna put a period there and then um, add the word capitalize. And so now every time it, it prints uh, an option here, bouquet of flowers, it's gonna say a pumpkin spice bouquet of flowers. Um, if, in multiple word ones, it, it only is gonna get the first letter. It's not gonna go all the way through each word, so it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, likewise, I'm gonna do it here for pumpkin when it comes through. Um, capitalize, yeah. Yeah, so there we go. And then I'll do that like that. So again, to make it pretty clear that that's, that's a special kind of thing that I'm trying to, to create here. So, okay, so I think this is a pretty okay bot. I would like to do a few more things, but this is decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and call this uh, done. Uh, I'm going to, to make it, so to make it actually done, of course, you can tweet manually whenever you get one you, you especially like. Um, but this is a bot and we want it to run by itself. And so down here, you have to choose how often you want this to run. Um, you can go up to every 10 minutes on this tool. I don't really recommend that. I think they, you know, bots, especially ones that are just quick like jokes like this, they get old really fast. I'm just gonna stay twice a day because I don't, you know, I don't really care that much. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with this one. Um, you can also, by the way, do this replying thing. I haven't actually used it before and I, I don't know how, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but it does, you know, it works with tracery syntax again. Um, I should try to figure that out at some point. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share the source code. This is just a choice you can select to make it visible or not. Um, I like to do it in the uh, website of profile, uh, the website field of the Twitter account profile. So just hit save to make sure everything's saved. And I think this bot is done. Uh, let's see how it looks. All right, so it's going. Um, it'll just go every tw twice every day from, from now on, I guess, as long as this continues to exist and unless it gets suspended again. Uh, I will go ahead and edit the profile to add the website and that way it's got the oh and I should make my theme orange um, is that orange, is that orange? Um, so that way now it's got you know it's got the source code in case you want to see it so that's it that was a quick bot done cheaply uh, I guess using uh, cheap bots done quick which is the tracery tool so hopefully that was helpful to you if that's something you're trying to do if you have any questions about how to make bots, um, I'm happy to try to answer it, but you know, you, there's a whole community of people that make these things. Um, you can reach out or just kind of address that community sometimes using the hashtag bot ally. Uh, there's also uh, you know, uh, the V21, the creator of Cheap Bots Done Quick, so uh, reach out to them if you have questions about that tool specifically. Um, but it's great, it's a quick way to make a fun bot, and hopefully, uh, if you're my student, you've already been successful at this, um, but if not, hopefully this helps, and uh, yeah. That's, those, are, those are Twitter bots. Thanks for watching.